All right, so what I got here is the 73 Super Beetle Auto Stick, number seven, control valve solenoid. This is what controls the transmission. Uh, you got vacuum lines here, 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 and small vacuum line is what goes to your carburetor. This right here is the money. They don't make this. As you can see, pretty big split. They don't make it. So I'm gonna attempt to, uh, frick, I don't know, I'm gonna attempt to do something. Hopefully it works. If it does, this video will exist. If it doesn't, it won't. So here's what we're coming up with right now. Uh, I took the screw out of the center. I took a pneumatic grinder, just like that small one, and I ground off the little lip that holds that top piece on. That's what you got. I bought a wheelbarrow inner tube. And right now, I'm stretching it out to try to get it flat. I got my heat gun and I heated it up to, it was pretty hot, I couldn't touch it. And now I'm trying to get it flat because whenever they make those tubes, of course they're round. Uh, this rubber material, it's rubber, but it doesn't really stretch. It's pretty stout, but it's only a half mil. And then you have the ring around the outside edge. I'm not, I'm not sure how big that is, but I can't find an O-ring tonight to fit this gap around it, which I'm sure it needs. So my plan is to use the wheelbarrow rubber on here and then set this on top of it and set that on there and then you need your washer that's the size washer that works perfect one eighth by three fourth you can see the the one eighth is almost exactly it's a seven millimeter uh, nut holding it on. I had to go buy a seven millimeter wrench. So, yeah. And then once you get it adjusted to where you want it, you just put your screwdriver in there and your wrench will tighten down the nut. If it works, You'll be watching a video. If it doesn't, you won't be watching a video. It's pretty aggravating that they don't sell this diaphragm. Somebody out there needs to make this diaphragm. The electrical components inside this can be, they can be fixed. Nobody sells this. These little arms right here, I've got some coming. Uh, on eBay, they sell the exact same thing for like a 2000 Volkswagen Jetta. It holds some type of a, I think it's fuel pump it holds on. But anyway, it comes in a pack of three. I texted or uh, I messaged them and asked them what size this bolt was because on these, it needs to be a six mil. And the ones on the 2000 Jetta for, I think it was a fuel pump, is a six mil. So they look identical to it. These are pretty tore up. Pretty nasty. So, but my problem is a uh, vacuum on, I'm not sure, I think it's this one has got a leak. 
think whichever one sucks out of here is definitely leaking. All right, we got to change the plans. Instead of using the uh, bicycle or the, the tube, the wheelbarrow, wheel, tube, I'm using these nitrile gloves. These are chemical resistant nitrile gloves. Uh, nitrile, I looked it up, is nothing more than a, um, a man-made rubber. So <clears throat> everything I found the rubber stretched too much, but this seems to have the exact same consistency as this. And I believe, let me get my micrometer, and I believe they're pretty doggone close to the exact same thickness. Let's see. Point five, and this I believe is actually uh, yeah point four. So it's a little bit thicker. That's what we're gonna try. All right. So I got the rubber glove piece cut out right there. I got it. Uh, I left the old one on because there's a ring around. On the old one, that's thicker than the uh, 0.4 mil, so I left it on. I put this on top, and I'm just going to sandwich it, and the rip is like right here. And I'm thinking that uh, this will work just fine, so. Spring. And set that in there. And I took my center punch that I made out of an old screwdriver. Stuck it up to the old torch, got it hot, and then that's how I, I melted my holes in it. So, I'm not exactly sure all the processes for each one of these vacuum tubes. I know where they go. I know, you know, basically what it does. But the only one I can find that actually works with this diaphragm is this small vacuum tube. So... I would say that works. And if that's all it's got to do is deal with that small vacuum tube, I got, I got a feeling that's going to work for a very long time. So I'll put it on the car, and if it works, you'll be watching this video. So the vacuum has been on there for, I guess, going on a month, month and a half or so. And I ended up, <clears throat> I ended up having to, Use more of that glove. I, I just put it on top on every every place that had a gasket or, or anything. Um, there's one or two other places <clears throat> inside this thing where you can pull it out and it's got little discs that seal up. And even they were leaking a little bit and I, I put a little round piece on those discs. So every place that has something that needs to seal on this vacuum, I used that uh, that nitrile glove, and it's been going for about a month and a half, two months, something like that now. And I don't know how many times I can go to it and push the stick shift down, and you can hear the vacuum on it, but uh, it's. It's enough that it holds vacuum for weeks at a time. So that's how you can rebuild your own solenoid without having to buy a brand new one that you can't find. It worked, so you're seeing the video.